Hi, this is Rich Coles from Productive Project Solutions. This video is a quick overview of how to create a template in Smartsheet and how you might use it. So let's have a look. So in here, I'm in my workspace and I've got a variety of items and I've got a standard time plan. And this time plan, I want people to use time and time again because it's the standard time plan, as you might guess. And we've set it up in a way that it works for people. And these are standard tasks that we would use within the business. And what they need to do is then go in, change a date, and then start populating it as needed. So one way you can do this really is just save it as new each time and say, save as new. And I'm going to say, um, Rich's copy. So Rich's copy of standard time plan for project X, Y, Z. And I can decide where I'm going to save it and save it like that. And so then it's, it's created. Now I'm not going to do it in this case because rather than going in each time, you're then taking that latest version, but you're taking a copy of an existing file. What you want to do is lock down the template and you've got this very easily to say, save as template. So if I click on save as template and it's going to call it, it's template of standard time plan. And I can change that whatever to be whatever call. Um, I want it to be called and I can save it wherever I want it to do. And I can set up various options here in terms of what items I want to happen with it, preserve destination, disable workflows, etc and date and formatting options here. Now, within this, sorry, let me just pause and say, just so you can see. So you can therefore say, you know, keep these or get rid of them. Now, one thing when you do set up a template is that if you've got automations, and so I can have automations here that when triggered, do X and it send items to a sheet, etc. Those items will stay and that's brilliant. The automations will stay if you allow them to stay on this bit, or you can scrub them and start afresh. So in this case, I'm going to save it as a template and it says template saved. So what does that actually mean? Well, if I go back in, you'll now see a slightly different icon, which is a template of a standard time plan. Now, typically what I would do in this case is I would rename it and I'd want it to either be at the top or the bottom. So to get at the top, I'm just going to put in a underscore and then it will head up to the top below any folders that are there. The template is there. So in order to use it, can I go in and make changes to that template? I can't. So let me just click on it. If I click on it, it's saying, well, this is what you're going to create. Do you want to use it? Yes, no. If you say yes, it will then say, well, what do you want it to be called? And so very simply, I go um, another um, another rich copy standard time plan, etc. Save it. And then it creates that file and this is an individual one, which is separate. What's happened in this case though, if we go back in here, is you can see the original plan, which I created the template from is there. And then that file, which I just made is here. And so I can keep on just pressing again and again and again. So whatever sheet you've got, it means that this is preserved every single time that unless you need to make changes to it, then people will always get the same. You don't have to clear out content. You just have it in the way you want it. Now, what if you want to edit that time plan? Well, the way to do that actually is then go back to a working version that is got the last version you want. You cannot go in and edit a template per se. So what I would do in this case is actually I'd then say, well, it's changed. So I'm now going to delete this as the template. So I'll delete that out. Do I want to delete it? Yes, I do. So I'll use it again. And I click on this one and it's now because it's got better enhanced changes, etc. I'll then just save it again as a new template and I'll call it, you know, sign a time plan, you know, version two, or whatever you want to call it. And then save, it's now there and people know, you know, that's the template and obviously rename it in the same way it was before. Um, it says rename and put the underscore in front, etc. He says the same thing. And there you go. So that's how you do templates. Now, a couple of things to bear in mind. You can only do a template on an individual item. So if you want have got a project folder such as here and you want to use that as a template, you can't in that same way of having that. So in this case, I could go in and make a copy of each one one by one, or I could just press that whole folder and copy for new project. I can save as new and therefore copy of copy of new project. And then let's just call this um, I'm going to call this project, let's just say um, Yankee in this case. And I'm going to save that. Uh, 
and in the background it's saving it and that's a whole folder but this is a different way this is not using templates at all it's just creating a copy of that bit so you can see that that folder is now created and it's got those assets there but that's not quite using a template so there's times and places where you use different things again on projects as they get bigger then this is where you might start considering control center i've got a separate video on that but if you've got a simple needs and it's just one item and you want people to use it again and again an actions log or whatever it's a simple item press that it becomes really easy to make available so that's kind of a, a, a quick tip on these things the template unfortunately um you can't get links to this or not that i've seen as yet as well so i'll stand be corrected if someone can show me how to that'd be brilliant please put a note in the comments again i haven't seen how i can actually add this as an item onto a dashboard because that would be great to to be able to do so if you if you are doing that let me know i'll be delighted and i'll change the video accordingly um but as as so you have to go in this place this place and use the template so Trust that's been useful. Quick overview on templates. Thanks for watching. Switch goals at Productive Project Solutions. Bye for now.